What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Sir Jorge D. Great bringing you week two of the APM Juniors Divisions uh, Team Builder. Uh, before I get into it, if you guys are enjoying my content, then please, please, please make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. As of recording this, I'm actually at 99 subscribers, and I'm uh, shout out to uh, Seabad Chase, uh, the Myth of Legend, who gave me a huge shout out and almost brought us to 100 subscribers. So I'm really looking forward to uh, hitting that 100 mark uh, any day now, uh, unless, you know, we lose b the bot accounts. But, anyways, uh, this week we are facing off. Uh, Elon 01, Elon 01, and his Elite Cinder Race. Right now you can see uh, his team, my team, uh, so let's get into it. Uh, first off, he is the Grim Snow, which is a Dark Fairy type. Uh, it's a very annoying mod because it does get the Prankster ability, and with Prankster, it allows it to set up screens, set up a bulk up with priority, and then just run face with like a Darkest Slayer, Body Press, st stuff of that nature, Spirit Break, which is a new move that will uh, it's 100% guaranteed to lower the target special attack. So that's going to be very annoying to deal with. Uh, next up, he does have Halucha, which is a very, very scary Pokemon. I think it is his best Pokemon on his team, given his team so far. Uh, it's a very fast Pokemon. Now it gets access to Brave Bird, so it, it's it's not going to rely too much on its acrobatics. It still can definitely run acrobatics with uh, Electric Seed, and it, as you can see, he does have his partner Pokemon in Picurin, which I will skip to immediately. Uh, Picurin uh, gets the hidden ability of Electric Surge, so essentially it's, he now has a Google, uh Lucha Core again. But I think I sort of want to, if he does bring the Picurchin, uh, I sort of want to use that against him uh, with, a, with a Pokemon that I have on the team. Um, but yeah, Halucha, very scary with Earthquake, uh, uh, Brave Bird, uh, Close Combat, uh, uh, Roost, uh, Sword Stance, U-Turn, you know. It really is his biggest threat on his team, but I think we can't handle it. Um, he has the Jirachi, which can be very uh, very annoying. I could definitely see it as a Scarf set with uh, Scarf Iron Head just to flinch me to death. Um, I could also see it as a more bulky set with rocks, with, uh, with Wish, uh, Stealth Rocks, stuff of that nature. But I definitely uh, see uh, Lucha and Rachi coming this week. Next up, he does have the Ditto, which I think is the most annoying Pokemon on his team because it can copy anything that's on the field unless it's behind a sub. And, and that keyword, unless we're going to try to play around that. Um, so Ditto really can't, uh, so once it comes in, it will copy the Pokemon it's in front of, and uh, sort of, uh, usually you'll see it with a Scarf, so whatever Pokemon it is, it'll copy its stat uh, changes, and then, you know, since it's Scarf, it'll definitely be faster unless the Pokemon has priority, in which case, it's a whole debate. But yeah, uh, next up he has the Pikurin, like I just said, just really sets up spikes and can just set up the search for his Alucha. Uh, next up is Galissapod, which sets up, spikes, sets, up, uh, sets up spikes, has priority in first impression, and then really it's just a physical attacker. Uh, it's like a water type too, with Aqua Jet priority as well. He has Sabali, which can be any type. In my opinion, I think he brings a type that is resistant to water, so that, whether that be water itself, dragon, or grass. Um, he doesn't have a fire type on his team, so that he, he could... Uh, but I doubt, he, I, I like legit doubt he will bring a fire type Savali because it just makes no sense against my rain team. Uh, next up, he does have the Toxic Tree. I have dash A for Amplified, but low key and Amplified do get different moves. I don't I actually don't have like them memorized, but depending on its nature, it will be a different form. So uh, depending on that, we can actually I'll, I'll look up like the natures to see which ones are which. Uh, this is the first one I actually do with Toxic Tree, so it'd be kind of interesting to do with that. Next up, he has the Rotomo, which is a very annoying electric type given my rain team. So we really did have to play around that and, and make sure that it, uh, if it's if it's specs, then it will actually hurt us a lot. So I'm hoping he doesn't bring it or you know stop bring specs at the very least. Um, and then finally, he has Golic, which is a good rocker for him. It's a ground type, um, but I don't think it comes this week simply because we do have rain and we just sort of wash it away. Literally, I know. Uh, he, uh, Rune Rig is, really does, does put the finest to work here since he has so many electric types. He does have Rachi and he has Lucha, but I just feel like he was going to counter that or not bring a few things because of it. Uh, also, Rotom Mo can really just come in for free and we don't have a response to that, so I'm trying to pre prevent that as much as possible. So, yeah. With that out of the way, let's get into our team, what we are bringing and why we are bringing it. So, let me, uh, my computer has been really lagging and I cannot find my mouse. Okay. So first off on the team, we do have Eerie, the Galarian Rapidish, making her appearance. Uh, we're running a subset with Leftovers, a Peso Veil, because that's only the really only good move or ability she gets that can reliably run. Um, uh, with Leftovers, uh, Mystical Fire, Psychic, uh, Dual Stab, and Sub. So again, I, I'm 
mentioned about how Ditto can be really annoying coming in and just copying our our Pokemon. So if we're behind a sub, it won't copy us and it will just stay a Ditto and it can try to transform but it will fail and it will just force a switch on our opponent. So the idea here is I'm trying to bait out the Jirachi if it's Scarf or not. We're running max speed and max special attack. I initially was going to bring a like a choice bandit or a physical set but I like the special side more. Just a little bit, uh, just a tad bit. I like, I like Mystical Fire because it's our only way to hit that Jirachi, but it also reduces a special attack. Um, so that's going to deal with like sort of like the uh, Royal Mo as well and the Pinkurin if it's uh, special. Second D Gleam is also really good against his team. Um, you know, it hurts the Halucha a lot too and uh, stuff of that nature. Uh, also, just in case he brings like, I don't know what type of Savali he might be. So we just want to play around that. So yeah, we're subbed, less overs, just to gain health and then um, max speed. So I like this thing. It pretty much outspeeds everything but the Halucha because the Halucha is so incredibly fast. I was thinking about bringing an agility set, but I just decided against it because um, if you were to bring like an adamant Halucha with, with Unburden, uh, that was very unlikely. I just think he brings Jolly with Unburden, so it doesn't really matter. Because we still have the fastest thing on our, like in the league, uh, which is going to be this uh, fast fish uh, with this flash plate this time. I was trying to think what I wanted to bring and... Um, Again, that Ditto is super annoying, and I just really don't want to deal with it. So we're bringing sub. Uh, I I know I have two moves that really drain up our turn of rain, and that's really crucial for our our, our team. But um, I just didn't see it in any other way, shape, or form. Liquidation does a lot. Splash plate will boost our water type moves, and in the rain, it just it's gonna it's basically a nuke. It's a nuke on a stick with our liquidation. Plus, combat's really good overall because it's gonna hurt the Savali if it's like uh, a typing that is just resisted to uh, water type. Sub is really nice because we get to avoid that nasty, nasty ditto and then protect just to scout out his moves and see what he wants to do. Luckily, even uh, as adamant, we still have to be Jolly Halucha. I have to double check that. If, if we don't, I'll make it Jolly. It doesn't really matter. But adamant, uh, it's really nice here because we're just, we're just, this is our late game sweeper again, just like last week. Um, I think Barrascuit is just a late game sweeper in general because it just does over 50% to a lot of things. So if they're chipped, they're going to die. And it's really, really nice. Like I mentioned before, he doesn't have a fire type. Yes, we are rain, but he doesn't have sort of a way to properly deal with uh, with uh, Ferrothorn. So we're bringing uh, Shiozaki, which is a My Hero Academia reference uh, with a Rocky Helmet. Uh, we're bringing basically match HP, max defense. Uh, I think it's minus speed nature uh, with its plus defense. Stealth Rocks, Knock Off, Leech, and Dire Ball. I was going, I was contemplating whether or not to bring like a grass move just to hit something else. Uh, we really can't touch the Rotom. Uh, the Rotom uh, bow that well, but really its job is to get up rocks to prevent some some mons to set up. Leech Seed is really nice because we gain some health, and uh, that's pretty much it. If he if he's like Iron Head Jirachi, we really just wall that. Um, with like uh, yeah, with Iron Heads and Headbutt, so we stop that as well. We can you know deal, deal a lot of damage with it with Leech Seed and Knock Off, and uh, it's pretty good in my opinion. Again, we still have Rain, so if he wants to bring Hidden Power Fire, I think it's banned. Um, then we can stop that. But besides that, he really doesn't know. He doesn't have a way to deal with our Shozaki here. And yeah, that's our uh, making her opinion as, as well. And yeah, next up we do have rain this week. We have uh, Nigel, the Pelipper with a Dap Rock Drizzle, Defog Hurricane, U-Turn, Ice Beam. I forgot that we were running Nax Dex, so when I said it doesn't have a Defog, I lied. I apologize about that. So we were running Defog because it's our only Defogger. It's Hurricane, U-Turn, Ice Beam. The reason why I'm not bringing like. Uh, basically water coverage is because uh, I really want to read that uh, Rotom uh, Mo play. Actually, I'm considering bringing Weather Ball regardless, but um, I'll look into the stats real quick in between battles. That might switch to a Weather Ball or a Surf. We're running max speed to add speed. I believe the Texas Tree. We're running a lot of speed. Um, uh, I, I didn't think we needed the special attack investment this week, but we're running max HP. U-turn uh, is really nice here as well. And uh, yeah, again, this whole reign is for Shiozaki and Fast Fish uh, for them. And uh, yeah, so that's our that's our Pelipper set, and also to get remove uh, hazards. Next up is sort of if he does bring the electric train, I'm re really hoping I can take advantage of it. Was our Heliolus? We're running a choice spec Heliolus with Thunderbolt, U-turn, Dark Pulse, and Hyper Voice. The reason why I'm running U-turn over Volt Switch is because he might bring the Golurk, and I really want to like ensure that I get my momentum if I when I need it. That's why we're running U-turn. Uh, so uh, I was initially going to bring Thunder. But I just did not want to risk me losing Nigel so soon, and then like I am relying on a 30% uh, uh, yeah 30% miss. So uh, we're running Thunderbolt over that. Uh, Dark Pulse Hyper Voice is really good overall. Dark Pulse is really for that Jirachi and some other stuff, just in case he has like a 
uh, electric resistance, and then hyper voice is really good as well. It's just good stab. Uh, gold looks sort of just like wall this thing in a sense, so we gotta play around that. But overall, it's a good mod, and I really hope it does put the finest work. Uh, Jed did mention that I have a lack in a special attacker, so uh, like a really strong special attacker, so we really gotta look into that pretty soon. But you know, uh, Hill is probably our best choice for right now. And then finally, uh, we have the Archidogo, uh, Flare Blitz, Psychic Fangs, Iron Head, and Reflect. So I mentioned here that he does have the Grom Snarl and that it can set up uh, the screens, which would be really annoying. And so the idea here is I'm bringing Psychic Fangs. I can't click it on the Grom Snarl because it is a dark type, but uh, I'm trying to attempt to scare it away with an Iron Head. Um, and possibly even set up our own Reflect. We are an Intimidate Reflect for the Halucha, so it's our best way to deal with it. Second things also hurts the Halucha incredibly. So, and also, uh, it's sort of wall, or like, uh, he can't go into his uh, Ditto on our Arcanine and get Flash Fire. That's also why we're not Flash Fire this week, as well as him not having a Fire type. Uh, max HP, max attack, Adamant. Uh, was forced, was a little bit of a speed investment just in case he wants to, like, speed creep us. I doubt he does. Uh, but yeah, that's our team for this week. Um, I'm gonna look into the damage calculations for the Ice Beam. If it's just better to run, um, to hurricane over ice beam i will but yeah that's the team if you guys did enjoy this make sure you smash that like button down below subscribe if you're new around here again we're so close uh to hitting 100 subscribers uh as of recording this video and the, you know the battle but yeah if you guys did enjoy this make sure you uh, i just said that already <laughs> Alrighty, guys you guys know me it's record can degrade make sure you are pressing the word of a little eggy and uh we will catch you guys in the next oh yeah we'll actually catch you guys in the battle uh all right see you then bye, -bye.